Hello. Inspired by Dan Schiffman's Coding Challenge 78 Simple Particle System, I have created this. It's kind of fun to watch, wouldn't you say? And there are two parameters that you can adjust using the mouse. If you move the mouse to the right, then the particles will move toward the center faster. I'll show you the extreme here. And then as you move up, the density of the particles increases. So let's start at the middle again. And I'll press space to clear. And then I'll increase the density so you can see that. So that's kind of the middle speed. Then I could slow it way down. You can see what this looks like. Notice also the that it's each individual particle that retains its its speed. So when I make an abrupt change, you see some strange bending going on there. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave it in the middle here, and let's go over the code. Um, this is made with P5JS, and as usual, we have a setup and a draw function, and I have a key pressed function that resets things when you press a key. And what do we do? We create the canvas to fill the window width and height. We use degrees rather than radians for the angles. It turns out to be more convenient here. And then for the color mode, we use hue, saturation, and brightness rather than red, green, blue. And this is the array where we store these particles. And this is the angle that we're currently using to draw the next, uh, to create the next particle. And then in draw, we clear the screen to black and move the origin to the center. And then every five frames, we create a new particle uh, with this new particle. And um, what do we give it? We give it the current angle, which starts at zero, and then changes until center. This uh, I could also call this the speed toward center, maybe. Um, or actually, it's sort of the inverse of the speed toward the center. It's it could take a thousand frames to get to the center, or it could take just 10 frames to get to the center. And that is based on the mouse X. And then to compute the angle change, we look at the Y, uh, the mouse Y. Oh, you know what? This should be height. OK. Then we add that angle change to the angle, and we use the modulo operator, and we go modulo 360. Then for each particle, P, we see if it still is far, the, far enough away from the center to where we want to keep it. And if it is, we draw it and move it. If it's at the center or very close to the center, then we shift the particles array, which removes the first one. Um, then key pressed, I talked about, we, re we reset the particles array and then reset the angle to zero. Okay, I'm going to pause here and take a look at some things. Okay, I just stopped and fixed some mistakes. Um, having to do with knowing which one to delete when it reaches the center. So my approach earlier was too simple. What I have to do, really, is uh, for every one of the particles... Uh, map over it. So we get the particle itself and then the index. So the first one is index 0, the next one is 1, and so on. 
Um, then, as before, these lines are unchanged. If the magnitude of the particle is greater than one, we draw it and move it. Otherwise, we add this index, zero, one, two, whatever, whichever particle we happen to be drawing that we discovered is close enough to the center to get rid of. We push the index to this delete indexes array. Then we need to delete the particles with splice, but we want to do it from um, right to left in particles. So we sort the delete indexes. And we don't know when we go through here. Well, let's see, will they be in order? Oh, you know, they actually will be in order. They will be in order because we're going through them in order and then we're pushing them in in order. Okay, so we don't really have to sort. We just have to reverse. Yeah, so let's throw this away and we'll just reverse. Then we can use for each. Um, so the indexes will be processed from largest to smallest. That will allow us to splice moving from right to left. And let's see if it works. Let's see if we can get some to delete here. Yeah, they seem to be deleting, right? I can't be sure I've got that perfect, but at least there are no catastrophic failures. And notice this guy here, little chain there, goes away properly. Okay. So just, let's see, going over this again. Uh, we, can, we visit all the particles, and we draw and move the ones. Well, that's an interesting pattern over there now. We draw and move the ones that are uh, not at the center, and we remember to delete the others by saving their indexes. We reverse the indexes so they're in order from largest to smallest, and then we uh, get each one of those, and we use that index to do a splice to remove that particle from the array. Okay, what's left? Let's talk about the particle constructor or the particle class. When we create a particle, we, s we have to give it the angle and then this changes until center. This is kind of uh, how slowly it moves toward the center. And we set the position of it by uh, looking at the cosine, of the cosine and sine of the angle. That gives us x and y on the unit circle. And then we multiply that by a third of the width and a third of the height. So that sets the position, kind of going around a circle based on the angle. And we also set the color based on the angle. And the angles conveniently go from, three, from 0 to 360. And in the hue, saturation, brightness color model, the hues go from 0 to 360. So we're just taking the angle and using that for the color. So you can see that over here, these are red, which is a hue of 0, and then the hue increases until you get uh, up to 359, and then it starts again. Okay, so that's the color. And then the, we make another vector, which is how far to move it on x and y each change. So to do that, we take the position vector, and we divide that by this changes until center. So let's say we're, we're making a thousand changes till center. We take one one thousandth of the position vector, and that's the change vector. Then we do something similar for the size. The size starts at 30 pixels. Um, and then we say, well, we want to shrink it gradually down until it gets to be five pixels here in the center. And so that's a range of 30 minus 5 is 25, and then we take a fraction of that, and that's how much we change the size each time. 
Then in draw, we turn off stroking and we fill it with the color and then we draw the ellipse. And then in move, we do two things. We change the position by subtracting this kind of a fractional portion of that distance. And then we subtract from the size that portion of the distance. Uh, okay, that's it. And you'll find this on my GitHub repository, Web Games. And this is called Particles Toward Center. All right, see you next time.